you want to learn how to fish tides in Tampa Bay, watch this video. It's a great video. I'll show you how to fish a two tide day, a four tide day. It's really good. It's uh, tides for fishing. And uh, watch this. I recorded it earlier in the uh, spring and uh, just forgot about it. But uh, check this out. Enjoy it and uh, see you on the water. Tides for fishing. This is what I want to show everybody right here. Now, this is the app right here, Tides for Fishing app. I have it on my phone. This is a great site. I'm going to put a link on in the description. You'll be able to see that there. But the one thing, when I once I get to this site right here, I always go into North America, United States, Florida Gulf Coast, Port Manatee. Then I pick the date. I pick the month right here, right there, Port Manatee, like I said. And then I look at it, like I said, the, the, the number one thing I do when I when I go uh, fishing is I worry about the, the winds, then I worry about the weather, and then getting the time off, and then I pick, then the tide is whatever I get. So this is the tide that I, in my last video, it was uh, the 17th, and this is where I caught all the fish. I had them on the uh, bow of my Mako boat, and I started fishing right around sunrise. You saw it in the video, the sunrise, right here. Right around 7.59, I started catching fish right at this time. And it took about an hour for the dolphin to come. You know, those pesky guys. Anyways, I was catching fish right off the bat. I mean, they were big sheephead. I think one, two, three right off the bat. Then some big mangroves. And then the sheephead started to come. Or then the um, dolphins started to come around. But, and you can see these tides right here. Here's a low tide at 7.59. It got slack for a while. Right around, uh, right around 8.30 to 9 o'clock. It was a slack tide. And I was still nailing snapper. Uh, big mangroves there and sheephead. And I really started nailing the uh, the mangroves and the sheephead again. What you saw on the deck of my boat, I probably caught double of that. I was throwing them back, but I, I mean, it was already a 22-minute video. I couldn't make it that long. I caught so many of them. And I thought I had five mangroves in the cooler, but I had so many sheephead on top, I I must have counted the same one twice. I put them out on the deck, and I said, what, there's only there's only four? Where's the fifth one? I said, oh, well, I was throwing 14, 15 inches back. But uh, right here, if you see this low tide right here at 7.59, you can see the height of the tide right here. And then you can see the high tide, and you take the uh, uh, imaginary line across. It's coming up almost two feet in six hours between eight and two. That's really fast. That's why I call it a ripping incoming tide. If you're fishing by the Skyway Bridge, there you're going to have wave, waves bouncing off those bollards coming in. It's hard, hard to fish. So I go on the channel when it does this. But this this is the fish activity right here. They call it the Solunar table, if that's if I'm pronouncing it right. But like I said, fish this time. I was catching them at this time too. You know, it's it it was just a great day. And it, you know, the water temperature, what whatever the water temperature was on my um fish finder, I forgot. But uh it, it was a great day fishing. So I was catching them throughout the whole day. So when they say this is good and that's good, I was getting most of my fish right near. So I mean this is all this is all it was all a great day. You can see fishing good here fishing's good here i like fishing the slack tides i really like the tide changes before and after a tide change i never made it to 215 i was headed back in by that time i thought if i don't get anything here oh well, i'm gonna catch him here but it but i didn't i nailed them all in in this time here and then this time not in the middle here because that dolphin he was he was a pesky guy he was right around here for about an hour and a half maybe two hours i just stopped fishing i stayed in the same spot but right here, I was really nailing them. Once I dropped, once I put in, um, put the spot anchor on, I was nailing them in the channel there. And then I started nailing them right here in about an hour and a half. So there was, it was only about uh, maybe three and a half hours worth of fishing time, hour and a half here, maybe two hours in an hour, hour and a half here. And I got them all at this time. But this is what I go by, Tides for Fishing app. I use this all the time. I look at the times here. It tells me what it's going to be. And here's another, uh, look at this one. Now here, now this is Friday, um, this is April 8th, Gulf Coast, Port Manatee, and look at this. I, I like these tides. And look, look at all the fish right here. Look at the activity right here. See, high activity, really high activity. A slower incoming tide. It's going to be a lot slower because 1.42 a.m. is the low tide, and it's not coming up that much. And at 5 o'clock, there's a tide change here, but it's so slow right here. I like fishing like that. And then you get those... See this? Six-hour difference. Look at that. Ripping tide coming in. And if it was going out, it'd be the same thing, just ripping. Then here, a gradual tide coming in. And that's, I really like fishing these, but, you know, I did really good on these. 
You know, a lot of people say that, you know, fish an outgoing tide or incoming tide. All depends where you're at. I mean, I fish Port Manatee, and whether it's an incoming tide or outgoing tide, I just fish it. You know, I just fish on the north side or the south side of the uh, uh, the channel at Port Manatee or um, the one in the Skyway Bridge. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you know, some people say it does, but, but to me, you know, like I said, it's the days that I get off that I have to fish it, and I deal with whatever I'm dealt that day, and I make the best of it, and uh, you can see the results of it. So, But this is the Solunar table, the high activity, and uh, really good. But, you know, like I said, you gotta you got to go by the winds and whatever the tide is. See, I like these slow wind-coming tides. Then you can use a, um, a lighter, um, let's say, a lighter jig, uh, you know, if you're going to be using the um, the jigs that I use, half ounce, three eighths, or a one ounce. But like on here, I switch to I will switch into a one ounce, sometimes a one and a half ounce, just to get it down because it's really ripping at this time. And if you're by the Skyway Bridge, I tell you this, the, it's it's like a turbulent current that's going through there. So that's why I go out in the channel. But I really like this. This is going to be Friday. I'm looking at this day. Hopefully, I can get this day off. Because I may work the weekend, and if if I can get this day off and there's not much wind, oh, I re I'll really love this tide. A slow incoming tide like this, I won't even make it the this time, and I'll have my limit, I'm sure. But uh, hopefully, you never know. Like you say, you never know when you go out there. But uh, see, these are the different tides, and just go to your um, tides for fishing app right here. I'll put it right in the description. Just click on that. So I hope this I hope this helped everybody. And um, like I said, low tide here, high tide there. And um, I always go by this. Here's the times down here. This is a really good app. I go by this all the time. You can tell if it's moving like this, it's going to be a ripping tide. And if it's like this, it's a slow incoming tide. Slower incoming tide. And I always like the the slack time before and after. Oh, it's really good fishing. I really like that. It just It's just a little bit slower. If you drop the chum and you see it just slowly sink down, I like that. But if you're dropping chum down on this... That chum, you're going to have to throw it as far as you can in front of the boat, and it's just ripping down like that. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know, and I'll have the uh, the app for this. But uh, this is what I use right here. Look at that slow incoming tide right there, and one of these uh, four tide days. See, one, two, three, four. So, uh, you know, and like I said, whatever day you get off, that's what you have to fish it. But uh, go to uh, Tides or Fishing uh, app, put it on your phone. I use it all the time.